From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Hannah Evans. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. We are starting off this morning with a few snow showers, especially up north, but the Mohawk Valley will be dry today, and those snow showers will remain up north. Let's take a look at our CAVI tower camera overlooking the city of Utica. We are waking up to partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies, and it is quite breezy outside with those snow showers up north. So we are seeing that lake effect snow up north today. For other areas, the Mohawk Valley and the Southern Valleys, it will be dry and mostly cloudy. We are also going to be seeing some light snow return that is going to be widespread tomorrow due to that nor'easter that is just off the coast. Now, on our Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar this morning, Almost all of our areas are seeing a few brief light snow showers, but once again, the Mohawk Valley and the Southern Valleys will clear out that snow later on. This is all because a cold front did move through our area, driving lake effect snow to start bringing snow showers into the area. So if you are traveling this morning, there definitely is going to be a trace of snow on the ground, depending on where you are. And in the North Country, they did get a little bit of an accumulation last night, about an inch or so, but they are going to continue to see snow throughout the day today. Our temperatures this morning are pretty warm. We are ranging in the 20s to 30s, but it is feeling a little bit cooler than that because we do have quite a wind outside. We are looking at the mid-20s in North Country, the upper 20s to low 30s here in the Mohawk Valley, and the same thing goes for the Southern Valleys. We are in the upper 20s this morning, feeling about 10 degrees cooler from the wind. I did want to point out for the next week to two weeks, our temperatures are going to be around normal, maybe even slightly below. If you did take a peek at our seven-day forecast for next week, we do have a couple of very cold days coming up, so it looks like we are going to be around the average highs and lows or below this. So here's the snowfall expected for today. So up in the North Country, specifically the northwestern part of Lewis County, they are going to be receiving a lot of lake effect snow today. Now for tomorrow, because of that nor'easter, we are overall, all of our areas, looking to get about one to three inches of accumulation from this nor'easter that is just off the coast. So let's look at that on our skycast. We are seeing lake effect snow showers this morning that will affect the North Country throughout the day today. Now, overnight tonight, it will be mostly cloudy, and here comes some of that snow from the nor'easter. That will persist for the day tomorrow. Again, one to three inches of accumulation is expected. We will dry out once again for Saturday. Before today, we have mostly cloudy skies and highs near 30. Overnight tonight, our lows are going to be dropping into the low 20s. We are going to be start seeing a few snow showers from that nor'easter. So we're just going to be seeing light snow and debris for tomorrow with a high just in the mid-20s. We are seeing that sunshine return on Saturday and a wintry mix makes its way into the area on Sunday. Back to you, Gary. And a thanks. The Utica Common Council is tech. We are saying good morning to Marcy and all of the greater Utica region. We did see a little bit of some snow last night, so if you are heading out the door this morning, definitely going to be some snow on some of the roadways and some of the sidewalks. But for the rest of the day, for the Mohawk Valley, it is going to be dry. The North Country is still going to be seeing that snow throughout the day. And come tomorrow, all of us are going to be seeing some snow accumulation from that nor'easter that is off the coast. So tomorrow, the sidewalks are going to be snow snowy as well. So here is what we are looking at for tomorrow. Overall, one to three inches is expected from this nor'easter that is just off the coast. This is going to be widespread, and it is just going to be some light snowfall accumulation. <laughs> <laughs> if you are planning out your weekend, the best day looks to be on Saturday. I'm sorry. The best day looks to be on Saturday. It is going to be mostly sunny with highs in the 20s, so it is going to be a little bit cooler than Sunday, but we are going to be getting a wintry mix on Sunday. I'll have a look at your commute forecast coming up. <laughs> Back to you, Gary, who just fell. I'm yeah, sorry. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah laughing. I almost fell coming up the stairs here. <laughs> Hannah, thanks. Looking at news around America now. Most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Hannah Evans. Good morning, everybody. We are waking up this morning with partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies, and there are a few snow showers lingering outside. Let's take a look at our CAV-V tower camera overlooking the city of Utica. Still seeing a few extra snow showers here in the Mohawk Valley this morning, and quite a wind. We are seeing wind speeds up to 20 miles per hour. So we are going to be continuing to see lake effect snow 
up north all throughout the day today. But the Mohawk Valley and the Southern Valleys are going to be clearing out for mostly cloudy skies. We are also going to be seeing a little bit more light snow tomorrow due to that nor'easter that is just off the coast. Now on our Yorkville battery storm tracker 2 at Doppler radar, all of us this morning seeing a few light snow showers or even just snow flurries in the area. But the snow in the Mohawk Valley and Southern Valleys do look to be clearing out this morning. The snow up in the north country, specifically the northwestern part of Lewis County, looks to persist throughout the day. They're looking to get some accumulation from the snowfall. This is all because a cold front did move through our area, driving lake effect snow to occur. So again, we will be cleared out later on this morning while the North Country is going to continue to see some snow throughout the day today. We are waking up pretty warm this morning compared to the past couple of mornings, looking at temperatures in the mid to upper 20s. We are in the mid 20s in the North Country, the upper 20s to low 30s in the Mohawk Valley. And the same thing goes for the Southern Valleys this morning. Not looking to rise that much for the high temperature. The high temperature looks to stay in the lower 30s. But if you haven't noticed the past couple of days, and it will continue to be this way, our temperatures are either normal or below normal. If you did take a peek at our seven-day forecast, next week looks like some pretty cold days are on the horizon, so we will be below average in temperatures. So here is what we're looking at in terms of snowfall. Today for the North Country, looking to get a couple of inches of snow up there. But as we get into tomorrow with that nor'easters off the coast, all of our areas are looking to get one to three inches of accumulation from this snowfall. So let's look at that on our skycast as we see that lake effect snow persists up north all throughout the day today. Now overnight tonight it looks to remain dry for a little bit and then tomorrow here comes that snow from the nor'easter. It does look to be widespread and again only one to three inches of accumulation. We are going to dry out for some sunshine on Saturday. Before today, we have a high near 30. It is going to be mostly cloudy in the Mohawk Valley. Overnight tonight, some snow flurries coming into the area from that nor'easter with a low in the low 20s. So widespread light snow is expected for tomorrow. It is going to be quite breezy as well. We will dry out for some sunshine on Saturday, and a wintry mix makes its way into the area on Sunday. Back to you, Gary. Hannah, thanks. The NFL's Welcome back. It is going to be windy today with winds 15 to 20 miles per hour. The same thing goes for tomorrow as that nor'easter comes up the coast. We are going to be seeing some winds from this. The winds will die down for the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. We are also going to be seeing overcast skies today and tomorrow. On Saturday, it does look to be mostly sunny for the day. But on Sunday, once again, overcast skies do return as a wintry mix comes into the area. So as you're grabbing your coffee this morning, I will be opting for the large. Temperatures are in the mid-20s, but it is breezy and windy outside. So temperatures feeling a little bit colder than the actual temperature. I'll have a look at your commute forecast coming up. Back to you, Gary. Hannah, thanks. There are two. New York's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Hannah Evans. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. We are waking up with a few snow showers this morning, but the Mohawk Valley will be dry today while the North Country continues to see snow for the day. Let's take a look at our CAV-V tower camera overlooking the city of Utica. We are waking up to mostly cloudy skies, and it is quite windy outside with winds up to 20 miles per hour. So for today, the North Country is going to continue to see that lake effect snow. Other areas in the Mohawk Valley and the Southern Valleys will be drying out for a mostly cloudy day, and we are going to be seeing some light snow return for tomorrow due to that nor'easter that is off the coast. Now, on our Yorkville battery storm tracker 2 at Doppler radar, light snow showers are continuing to move through the Mohawk Valley, and the Southern Valleys are looking to clear out within the next hour or two. But if we do look up in the North Country, specifically the northwestern part of Lewis County, they are going to continue to see see lake effect snow showers for the day today and looking like to get some accumulation. If you do live in the Old Forge area, one to three inches is expected for the snowfall from today. Now on our radar and satellite, we do see this is because a cold front did move through the area. This kind of 
pushed and driv, um, drove some lake effect snow showers into the area overnight last night. Once again, these showers are going to persist for the North Country for today. One to three inches is expected. We did get some sky watcher reports this morning, ranging in the 20s to 30s. We are 30s degrees in Oppenheim, 28 in New Hartford, and in Clinton. And going down to the south, we have 27 in Emerson and 29 in Morris. So it is in the upper 20s here this morning, not looking to rise that much. Our high temperature today is only going to be in the low. 30s. But for the next couple of days next week, if you didn't take a look at our seven day forecast yet, there is some very cold days in store for us. So for the temperature outlook for next week, it is looking like we will be below average in temperatures. Now for the snowfall today, we are looking at some snowfall for the North Country up there, specifically the northwestern part of Lewis County, looking to get some snow from that lake effect snow band today. Now with that nor'easter coming off the coast for tomorrow. We are looking to get some snow accumulation, but it does look very light in nature. One to three inches is expected overall from this nor'easter moving through. So we will see that lake effect snow showers persist throughout the day in the northwestern part of Lewis County and in the North Country. It will dry out overnight before we are going to be seeing some light to widespread snow make a return from that nor'easter that is off the coast tomorrow. We do look to dry out for a mostly sunny day on Saturday. Before today, we have a high near 30. It is going to be mostly cloudy once the snow does clear out. Overnight tonight, a few snow showers are going to be starting from that nor'easter with lows in the low 20s. So we are going to be seeing breezy conditions today and tomorrow. Light widespread snow for tomorrow due to that nor'easter. Sunshine returns on Saturday. Still pretty cold with highs just in the mid-20s. And wintry mix comes into the area on Sunday. Back to you, Gary. The Utica Common Council is tackling some big... Morning to Marcy and all of the greater Utica region. Waking up this morning, there probably is some snow on the ground on certain areas of the sidewalk and of the roadway, so just be careful of that. For the Mohawk Valley and the Southern Valleys, we will be dry later on today while the North Country continues to see some snow. For tomorrow, with that nor'easter that is just off the coast, we are going to be seeing some light widespread snow. So tomorrow, sidewalks may be a little snowy as well. So here's what we were thinking for t Friday. This was updated today. We were looking at one to three inches widespread for everyone. It is going to be very light in nature. Looks like we are missing a lot of the snow it is since moved way off the coast. If you are planning out your weekend, I would definitely say Saturday is the better day. It is going to be partly cloudy with highs in the mid-20s, so it is going to be a little bit cooler than Sunday, but it is going to be dry. On Sunday, it does look like a wintry mix for, and maybe even just some snow is going to return to the area with highs in the mid-30s. I'll have a look at your commute forecast coming up. Back to you, Gary. Hannah, thanks. Looking at news around a most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Hannah Evans. Good morning, everybody. We are waking up with a few snow showers in the Mohawk Valley this morning. The snow is going to persist throughout the day in the North Country, but the Mohawk Valley will dry out. Let's take a look at our CAV-V tower camera overlooking the city of Utica. We are seeing mostly cloudy skies with a few snow showers here and there, as well as pretty windy conditions. We are looking at wind speeds up to 20 miles per hour right now. So that lake effect snow today is going to remain in the north. Other areas of the Mohawk Valley and Southern Valleys will dry out to be mostly cloudy. And we do have some light snow in store once again for tomorrow. Now on our Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar, seeing these light snow showers in the Mohawk Valley and the Southern Valleys clearing out this morning. But if we do look up in the North Country, looking like they are still getting some lake effect snow bands, especially if you do live in the northwestern part of Lewis County. If you do live in the Old Forge area, only one to three inches is expected today, but this lake effect snow will persist for the day. This is all due to this cold front that moved through the area, driving some lake effect snow in the area. Once again, we are going to be drying out here in the Mohawk Valley for a mostly cloudy day ahead. We are going to be seeing some more snowfall 
tonight and tomorrow. We did get some Skywatch reports this morning. Looks like we are ranging in the 20s to low 30s. We have 24 degrees up in Old Forge and Inlet, 30 degrees in Oppenheim, and 28 in Clinton and New Hartford. If we do go down to the south, we have 25 in Cooperstown and 26 in Milford. So these temperatures are pretty warm for the start of the day. But for this end of this week and for the upcoming days next week, it does look like we are going to be around average or slightly below average in temperatures. If you did take a peek at our seven day forecast, next Next week, we do have some pretty cold temperatures coming into the area. But back to that snowfall for today. If you do live up in the northwest, you are going to be getting a lot of snow today from that lake effect snow. Now, for t overnight tonight and tomorrow, that nor'easter is going to be coming up our coast. We are missing most of the snowfall from this nor'easter, but overall, this is going to be widespread. Light accumulation about one to three inches is expected for tomorrow. So let's look at that on our skycast. We are seeing that lake effect snow up north today, and that will persist throughout the day. Overnight tonight, a few snow showers do come in the area from that nor'easter, and then we are going to be seeing light widespread snow for the day tomorrow. Once again, only about one to three inches expected. The sunshine does return on Saturday. Before today, we have a high near 30. It is going to be mostly cloudy once the snow does clear out this morning. Overnight tonight, lows are going to be in the low 20s. We are going to be seeing a few snow showers overnight and for the day tomorrow. So we are going to be seeing some pretty breezy conditions today and tomorrow. The wind does calm down on Saturday, and we will be seeing a sunshine with highs in the mid-20s. A wintry mix makes its way into the area on a Sunday and a little bit warmer with highs in the upper 30s. Back to you, Gary. Anna, thanks. There are two winning tickets. Welcome back. We are going to be seeing windy conditions for today and for tomorrow. The winds will calm down for the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. If you are looking to get some sunshine into the area, we are going to be overcast today and tomorrow. The sunshine does return on Saturday. Looks to be a nice, dry, sunny day on Saturday. A little bit cooler with temperatures in the 20s. And on Sunday, overcast does return as a wintry mix comes into the area. So if you are grabbing your coffee, Coffee this morning, I would be opting for the large. It is a little bit warmer with temperatures in the mid to upper 20s, but it is breezy, so we are feeling a little bit cooler than that this morning. I'll have a look at your day planner coming up. Back to you, Gary. Hannah, thanks. More big and welcome back. We are going to be seeing that snow today clearing out for the Mohawk Valley and the Southern Valleys, but we are looking to get a little bit more snow tomorrow due to that nor'easter that is off the coast. So overall, we are expecting one to three inches of a widespread light snow for tomorrow. If you are getting ready to plan out your weekend, I would say Saturday is the better day. It is going to be dry and partly cloudy, whereas on Sunday we are going to be seeing some snow and a wintry mix come into the area. Before today, we have a high near 30. It is going to be mostly cloudy and overnight tonight we have lows in the lower 20s to upper teens and we are going to be seeing a few snow showers starting because of that nor'easter. I'll have another look at that snowfall coming up. Back to you, Gary. Anna, thanks. There are two winning. Welcome back. We are seeing a few snow showers in the area here this morning. They will remain up north today, but are looking to clear out for the Mohawk Valley. Let's take a look at our Yorkville battery storm tracker 2 Doppler radar. These are very light in nature and are going to be clearing out this morning, but they will persist in the North Country. If you do live in the Old Forge area today, probably about one to three inches of lake effect snowfall. Our temperatures this morning are in the 20s, so it is warm on the temperature scale. But if we are looking at the wind speed, we are measuring a 12 mile per hour wind speed at the Griffiths Park Airport in Rome, so it is feeling a little bit cooler than the actual temperature. If you are getting ready to head out the door, I would just be careful of a few snow showers and some snow on the roadways. And by the afternoon, it is going to be dry in the Mohawk Valley and Southern Valleys, but if you do live up north, seeing a few snow showers still in the area. So for today, we have a high near 30. It is going to be mostly cloudy with that snow up north, and I will be tracking some more snow coming in tomorrow coming up. Back to you, Gary. Hannah, thanks. The Utica Common Council is tackling some big items. New York's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Hannah Evans. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. We are seeing a few snow showers this morning. We are looking to dry out in the Mohawk Valley and south today, but up in the North Country, the lake effect snow will persist. So let's take a look at our Cavity Tower camera overlooking the city of Utica. 
We are starting out with mostly cloudy skies here in Utica this morning, as well as a breeze outside. So that lake effect snow is going to continue throughout the day up if you do live in the north. Mohawk Valley and the Southern Valleys are going to be seeing mostly cloudy and dry conditions, but we are going to be seeing some light snow make a return for tomorrow. Now here is the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. We are seeing a few light snow showers still in the Mohawk Valley and Southern Valleys this morning. A little bit heavier snow up in the North Country, and they're going to continue to see snow throughout the day. So if you do live in the old Forge area, probably about one to three inches of accumulation is expected for today. This is all because of a cold front that did move through the area, driving lake effect snow to occur in the overnight hours. Now, once again, we are drying in the Mohawk Valley and south today. North will continue to see snow, and we all are going to be seeing some more snow for tomorrow. Some Skywatch reports did come in this morning. We are looking at the 20s to 30s. We're at 24 degrees in Old Forge and in Inlet, 30 degrees in Oppenheim, 28 in Clinton, New Hartford, Westdale, and in Glenmore. Going down to the south, we are still in the 20s, 27 in Emerson, 29 in Morris. Here's a look at the snowfall that is occurring. So for today, the heaviest of snow does look to fall up north, especially northwestern part of Lewis County. If you do live in the Old Forge area, definitely not getting as much as the area that is right past the lake. For tomorrow, we are all going to be seeing widespread light snowfall. One to three inches of accumulation is expected. And again, this is because of that nor'easter that is just off the coast. The winds from that nor'easter is driving some lake effect snow, and we will see a couple of inches from this. So that lake effect snow up north is going to persist throughout the day today, but we will stay dry further down south. Now, overnight tonight, we are going to be seeing a few snow showers from that nor'easter, and then we are going to be seeing widespread light snow for the day tomorrow. Once again, one to three inches is expected of accumulation, but we will see the sunshine return Saturday. So for today, we are going to be seeing mostly cloudy skies here in the Mohawk Valley with highs near 30. Overnight tonight, lows drop into the lower 20s, and we will be seeing a few snow showers from that nor'easter. So for tomorrow, it is going to be pretty breezy with that light widespread snow. Sunshine returns Saturday with highs just in the mid-20s, and we are seeing a wintry mix move into the area on a Sunday with highs in the 30s. Meteorologist Hannah Evans. We are seeing some light snow showers in the Mohawk Valley here this afternoon, and we are seeing a little bit of a heavier snow up north. So there is a winter weather advisory that just went out for the northern part of Herkimer County, including Old Forge. This is in effect until 10 p.m. tonight. Now, if we do look at our Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar, we are seeing just some heavier snow bands up north. About one to three inches of snow accumulation is expected. We are just seeing some light snow showers here in the Mohawk Valley and the southern valleys this afternoon. We are only looking to get a couple of inches up north and less than an inch to kind of like a trace of snow down in the Mohawk Valley and the Southern Valleys for today. So we are seeing heavier lake effect snow north, some light snow showers elsewhere in the Mohawk Valley, and we are going to be seeing some light widespread snow once again tomorrow. Before today, we have highs in near 30. We are seeing those snow showers, and I will be tracking some more snow coming in tomorrow coming up. Back to you, Gary. Anna, thanks. Hazmat crews are having an accident right now in Marcy involving a propane delivery truck. Onetta County Sheriff Bob Maschel confirms the driver of the truck suffered minor injuries in the crash around 10:15 this morning. The sheriff tells us this is an active hazmat scene right now. He tells us the state prison and the Central New York Psychiatric Center are taking precautions. There is no movement of employees there, though. Old River Road has been shut down between Route 291 and the Joe Kelly Memorial Highway. No word on whether or not there is an evacuation from the Walmart Distribution Center nearby. Stittville. Fire department is on scene as well. Utica Police Department's hazmat team is on scene. The United County Sheriff's Department command post is set up as well, and we'll have the latest developments as soon as we do learn more. Fire and rescue crews, New York's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Hannah Evans. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back. We are still seeing a few snow showers here in the Mohawk Valley, and we are seeing some heavier snow bands falling up north. Let's take a look at our CAV V tower camera. 
overlooking the city of Utica. Right now, we are getting a break in those light snow showers. We are seeing partly sunny skies. But if you do take a look at our Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 at Doppler radar, there is some widespread light snow in the area still here this afternoon. So you're just seeing some light snowfall in the Mohawk Valley and the Southern Valleys. Under an inch is expected of accumulation. Just watch out for some slippery roadways. But if you do live up in the North Country, about one to three inches is expected from this lake effect snow band. The National Weather Service actually just put out a winter weather advisory for the northern part of Herkimer County until 10 p.m. just because of slippery road conditions can be possible. Now on our radar and satellite, we are seeing that we are seeing some snow showers moving towards the area. A cold front has moved through this morning, kind of making those winds drive the lake effect snow. We are going to be drying out this evening before some more snowfall comes into the area from a nor'easter that is off the coast. Our temperatures right now are ranging in the 20s to 30s. We are looking to be in the mid-20s in the North Country, the upper 20s to low 30s in the Mohawk Valley, and the same thing goes for the Southern Valley. So we are just around average for our high temperature for this time of year. It is feeling a little bit cooler outside though because of that wind speed. We are measuring a 14 miles per hour wind speed at the Griffiths Park Airport in Rome with gusts up to 20 miles per hour. So just feeling a little bit chillier than the actual temperature outside. So here is what we are looking at in terms of snowfall for tonight and tomorrow. Like I said, there is a nor'easter moving up the coast. We are missing most of the heavy snow. We are just looking to get one to three inches widespread accumulating snow from this nor'easter. So we are not really getting that much. Just one to three inches is expected tonight and tomorrow. So we are still seeing some lake effect snow this afternoon, especially up in the north country. We are going to be drying out from that before the widespread light snow does return from the nor'easter. That nor'easter, the winds from it are going to drive some lake effect snow showers for the day tomorrow. One to three inches is expected widespread of accumulation. We are going to be drying out Friday night into Saturday, getting really cold Friday night once again with lows in the single digits. On Saturday, it is going to be a little bit cooler with highs just in the low to mid-20s, but it is going to be mostly sunny. For today, we have a high near 30. It is mostly cloudy outside with still those few light snow showers. Overnight tonight, a few snow showers are going to come back into the area because of that nor'easter with a low in the teens. So we are going to be seeing breezy conditions once again for tomorrow and light widespread snow. We are drying out for some sunshine on Saturday with a high in the mid-20s and a wintry mix comes into the area on Sunday. Back to you, Gary. Kind of thanks. According to new the weather in this half hour, and once again, here is meteorologist Hannah Evans. We are still seeing some light snow showers here in the Mohawk Valley, and we are seeing some heavier snow up north. The National Weather Service actually just put out a winter weather advisory for the northern part of Herkimer County until 10 p.m. this evening. So on our Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar, still seeing some lake effect snow showers, especially up north. One to three inches is expected up north, and a trace to an inch expected in the Mohawk Valley and Southern Valley. So here's a look at that snowfall forecast. We are going to be getting more snowfall tomorrow due to that nor'easter that is off the coast. So we are seeing those heavier lake effect snow showers up north today. We are seeing some light snow showers elsewhere in the Mohawk Valley and the Southern Valleys. We will be seeing some light widespread snow once again for tomorrow. So for the rest of the day, we are going to be seeing mostly cloudy skies, a few snow showers here and there with highs near 30. And I will be tracking that snow that is coming in tomorrow coming up. Back to you, Gary. Hannah, thanks. Utica police have arrived. New York's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Hannah Evans. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back. We are still seeing a few light snow showers in the Mohawk Valley, and we are seeing some heavier snow showers up north. Let's take a look at the Cavity Tower camera overlooking the city of Utica. We are seeing some light snow flurries here in Utica, and if we do take a look at the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppel radar, we are seeing widespread light snow still here this afternoon, especially in areas of the Mohawk Valley and Southern Valleys. Only a trace to an inch is expected, but up north, they're looking at about one to three inches. The National Weather Service did actually point, put out a winter weather advisory for the northern part of Herkimer County until 10 p.m. tonight, just due to slippery road conditions and that accumulation up to three inches. So here's the radar on satellite showing just that. We are seeing lake effect snow showers, especially up north here 
here this afternoon. We are just seeing some light snow showers in the Mohawk Valley and further down south. Temperatures right now are ranging in the 20s. We look to be in the 20s in the North Country, the upper 20s here in the Mohawk Valley, and the same thing goes for the Southern Valleys. We are very close to our average high for this time of year, which is in the upper 20s. So it is an average day temperature wise today. It does feel a little bit cooler outside though, because we are measuring a wind speed at 14 miles per hour at the Griffiths Park Airport in Rome. So wind chill temperatures are probably about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than the actual temperature outside. So it is feeling a little bit chilly outside. We are going to be getting some more snowfall overnight tonight and into tomorrow due to that nor'easter that is just off the coast. I did want to point out we are missing a lot of the heavy snow that is going to be associated with this nor'easter. We are only looking to get about one to three inches due to lake effect snow that is being driven by the winds of the nor'easter. So we are not looking at that much accumulation widespread one to three inches. Let's look at that on our skycast. We are seeing heavier snowfall up north here this afternoon. This lake effect snow does look to clear out by the evening time. Now, in the overnight hours, we are going to start seeing some light snow in the southern valleys, and then we will see some lake effect snow throughout the day tomorrow. That is going to be more widespread. Again, about one to three inches is expected. This all looks to clear out in the overnight hours into Saturday, and it does look to get pretty cold with our low temperatures back into the single digits. For the day on Saturday, it is going to be quite chilly with highs just in the low 20s, but it will be mostly sunny out sky. For today, we have a high near 30. We are still seeing some snow showers in the area. Overnight tonight, we have a low in the teens. We are going to be seeing a few more snow showers coming in due to that nor'easter that is just off the coast. So for tomorrow, we are going to be seeing breezy conditions once again with some light widespread snow showers. The sunshine does return for Saturday, and a wintry mix comes into the area on Sunday. Back to you, Gary. Hannah, thanks. Tennis star Novak Djokovic is a... Time now for a first look at the forecast. Let's get over Chief Meteorologist Bill Carter. Here I'm typing away over there. Got a lot going on, right? Well, it's, it's all about looking ahead here. The weather over the next couple of days relatively quiet. We do have some light snow this evening. Live look at the York Hill Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. Uh, we are looking at some snow that continues across the Lewis County into Old Forge. Again, we've been on the fringes of this all day uh, with very little accumulation for most of the area. Current temperature is 28 degrees. Our weather headlines again, some light snow returns tonight and into Friday. We're watching a nor'easter that's going to stay to our south. And it is making a lot of headlines because it's impacting some very populated areas along the coast, New York City to Boston. But again, locally, we're going to be missing out on the brunt of this. It's a cold start to the weekend. And looking ahead, the weather is very busy. Uh, in fact, we do have. Uh, Tuesday highlighted on the seven day as an alert day, and I'll explain what that's all about coming up. This evening, a few flurries around, temperatures in the 20s. Again, uh, tracking a lot more active weather ahead. Look at that forecast it's coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. Oneida County will distribute at home. New York's most dependable weather team. Here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. A pretty quiet day across the area. Some light snow from time to time. We definitely missed out on the brunt of the lake effect. Let's go ahead and take a live look outside. It's our Cavi Tarakam overlooking the city of Utica. And again, an occasional flurry has been the name of the game most of the day. The snow has been falling steadier to the north. So if you're traveling north uh, this evening towards Lewis County, out towards Watertown, the snow is a lot steadier and heavier. And that's where it will stay as we head into tonight, uh, at least with the lake effect. We will be tracking a nor'easter that will be bringing us some light snow. We're going to miss out on the brunt of this storm locally. Dodgeville 26, Little Falls 27, Rome 28, Lowville 26, across Southern Valleys, Sherburne 27, Skanevis 23, and Hamilton with 27. If you're heading out this evening, sidewalks looking dry. Actually, it's pretty easy to get around with the weather being relatively quiet. And if you are taking the dog out for a walk this evening, again, pretty good day, uh, evening to do that. Temperatures will remain in the mid 20s. Tonight's featured dog is Dottie, popular in South Utica. I hear. If you want to be part of this, head to Bill's Buddies on Facebook. This is brought to you by Staffworks. Looking ahead, some light snow in the forecast. Not much accumulation is expected tonight and tomorrow. We're dry Saturday. Again, just a light amount of snow Sunday. We are keeping an eye on Monday. That pattern favors some lake effect snow. We'll be keeping an eye on that. So you look at the radar and satellite image again, pretty quiet weather across our area for now, but 
We're keeping an eye to the south. There's going to be an area of low pressure that develops off the Atlantic coast. It's a nor'easter based on its stern track, and it will be tracking well to our south. Tonight, some light snow is to be expected. Temperatures drop into the mid-20s. As we head into Friday, again, just some light snow showers throughout the day. Uh, temperatures will be in the upper 20s. Not expecting any big travel issues across the area. We are keeping an eye on some lake effect snow that generally falls west of uh, our area. So if you're traveling out towards Syracuse, the snow will continue through the afternoon and evening. Uh, otherwise, pretty quiet weather. And it dries out and it cools down as we head into the start of the weekend. We're cold Saturday morning with sunshine temperatures in the single digits to below zero. Saturday looks like a beautiful day. Sunshine temperatures in the low 20s. Snowfall for tonight and tomorrow. Again, most areas just a very light amount of snow, one to three inches for most areas. Heading to the west, Syracuse, Madison County, uh, west of Hamilton, getting three to five inches. Again, some localized lake effects later in the day. Tonight, light snow down to 18. Tomorrow, snow showers, a high of 28. Storm Tracker 2 seven day forecast. Saturday looking dry, 26, a wintry mix for Sunday. Temperatures in the upper 30s. Lake effects snow Monday, and you can see Tuesday is red. We've had that highlighted Storm Tracker 2 alert day. Eight degrees for the high temperature. So it's all about the cold Tuesday. It was cold Monday. It's going to be next level cold for Tuesday. So just a heads up. Bill, thank you. Yep. Well, what will we'll Chief Meteorologist Bill Cardis. All right, we're talking about this nor'easter getting lots of national headlines. I wanted to show folks at home kind of the big picture here. We're talking about how central New York is on the fringe of this, and this is not expected to be a big uh, local event. But it's a different story to the south and east. Have a look at the accumulated snowfall as we head into tonight and tomorrow. And that uh, blue color, that dark blue towards Boston, that's snowfall between about four to seven inches. And there could be some places along coastal New England that get close to 10 inches of snow. That's more towards Maine. Locally, again, one to three inches of snowfall is to be expected. Again, uh, not a big deal for us, but a bigger deal for uh, folks to our south. Our next weather system is going to be yet another wintry mix. I wanted to look ahead here. This is for Saturday night and into Sunday. You can see a lot of different colors on the screen. That would be rain, snow, sleet, freezing rain, some tricky travel possible, especially early Sunday before that system departs. We've got a pretty active uh, stretch of weather ahead. We'll have a look at the Yorkville Battery Stern Tracker 2 Doppler radar. This evening is pretty quiet, just a couple of light flurries, temperatures in the mid 20s. Again, some light snow tonight as well as tomorrow. We are tracking a very active stretch of weather heading into early next week. Look at that forecast coming up. Chris, back to you. There's some misinformation, sir. York's most dependable weather team. Here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. A relatively quiet day today. We are tracking some light snow as a nor'easter develops and moves well to our south as we head into tonight and tomorrow. Let's take a live look outside. This is our Cavi Tower Cam. We're overlooking the city of Utica. If you're heading out this evening, uh, maybe going out and going out to dinner, uh, running some errands. It's looking fine. Just a, a few very light snow showers north of the Mohawk Valley towards Lewis County and Old Forge. Other than that, it stays dry here heading into tonight. Some light snow tonight, uh, late tonight, as well as tomorrow. Starting out the weekend, Saturday looks pretty quiet. It's a cold start. It'll be in the single digits in the morning, mid 20s in the afternoon, partly sunny skies. A wintry mix on Sunday, some travel issues there. Temperatures will be in the upper 30s. Sky watchers this evening, Alder Creek, 21 degrees. Donna in Norway checks in with 23. Kathy in Middleville, 27 degrees. Bob and Clinton, 26. Across Southern Valleys. Uh, Edmonston, Christopher with 25. Jeff in Mohawk, 26 degrees. Mark in Milford checks in with 24. Breezy conditions will be around over the next few days, especially tomorrow. That looks to be a windy day. Not damaging winds, but a windy afternoon as that nor'easter heads out, uh, heads to our south. Saturday, the winds are light. Sunday, Monday, the winds will be picking up again. Uh, again, looking at uh, wind gusts across the area on those days between about 10 to uh, 25 miles an hour. Radar and satellite image shows lake effect snow showers locally. We're going to the south. I want to show you what's going on down here. You can see some heavy snow in Virginia or West Virginia, Kentucky, Moving uh, to the east, this is going to develop into low pressure off the Atlantic. 
a nor'easter, and it's going to track to our south. Storm Tracker 2 Skycast, some light snow develops overnight, especially south of the Mohawk Valley. Temperatures drop into the low 20s. Some scattered snow showers on Friday. This comes from lake effect snow, especially in the late afternoon and early evening. Temperatures will be in the 20s during the day. The weather does clear out as we head into Friday night. Temperatures drop down into the single digits. A cold start to the weekend. Saturday, sunshine uh, and plenty of it. Temperatures will climb into the mid 20s. As far as snowfall for tonight and tomorrow, most of us just pick up an inch or two of accumulation. Heading to the west, if you're heading out towards Syracuse, a little bit more, about three to five inches from some lake uh, enhanced snowfall that will be taking place Friday afternoon and Friday evening. Tonight, light snow down to 18, some light snow showers tomorrow. Temperatures climb into the upper 20s. A look at your Storm Tracker 2 seven day forecast. The weather turns a lot more active as we head into next week. Sunday, again, that wintry mix could be talking about some slippery conditions, especially in the morning, a high of 37. Lake effect snow Monday, the setup is pretty decent. We could be seeing some heavy snowfall locally. We'll keep you posted on that as it is still a few days out. We have Tuesday highlighted in red, a storm tracker to alert day uh, because of the cold weather. We're looking at temperatures in the single digits during the day, overnight lows well below zero. So just uh, a higher level of cold than what we typically get. Wednesday, 28 degrees. We climb out of this pretty quickly with some light snow on Thursday. We'll be right back. Time now for a first look at the forecast tonight at 6. Here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Price. Tracking some light snow showers generally north this evening. Let's take a live look at the Yorkville Battery Stern Trucker 2 Doppler radar. It will stay dry for most of us as we head into uh, this evening, but then we will be seeing some light snow overnight as a new easter passes to our south. Current temperature is 25 degrees. Winds are calm, uh, partly cloudy skies. Some light snow is arriving overnight, and it's around through Friday. Uh, it will be a cold start to the weekend with temperatures Saturday morning in the single digits. Uh, pretty active weather ahead. We've got a Tuesday highlighted on the seven day as a storm tracker to alert day, and I'll explain what that's all about coming up. A few flurries this evening, temperatures in the mid-20s. Again, we are tracking some light snow tonight as well as tomorrow. Look at that snowfall forecast is coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. COVID goes behind the York's most dependable weather team. Here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. Tracking some very light snow as we head into tonight and tomorrow as a nor'easter moves off the coast. It will be on the northern fringe of this weather system. Let's take a live look outside. This is our Cab Bay Tower Cam. We're overlooking the city of Utica. If you're traveling tonight, uh, it is looking quiet across our area, at least over the next few hours. A live look at the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. Just a few light snow showers continuing in Lewis County and northern Herkimer County. Those will be coming to an end. We see some light snow around tomorrow as we head into the weekend. Saturday starts out dry and cold, some sunshine, a wintry mix for Sunday. Uh, the roads could be pretty slippery Sunday morning. Sky watchers across the area, Norway, Donna with 23, Paints Hollow 24, West Leiden 22. Across Southern Valleys, Mohawk 26 degrees, Helen and Cassville 25, and Harry in Otigo, Southern Otsego County, checks in with 24 degrees. Wind will be around as well as this nor'easter moves across the area tomorrow. We're seeing windy weather in its wake. Uh, breezy conditions Sunday with more wind looking ahead to Monday. Today's weather again, some very light snow showers from uh, lake effect snow. We look to the south. This is what's been getting a lot of headlines, national headlines. This is low pressure bringing some heavy snow to West Virginia. This will be tracking into the mid Atlantic. It turns into a nor'easter and it tracks up the coast. It will be far enough south compared to our location where we will be on the fringe of this system. Storm Tracker 2 Skycast, some light snow is expected tonight, especially south of the Mohawk Valley. Overnight lows drop down into the upper teens to low 20s. Light snow showers around on uh, throughout the day tomorrow. This is the combination of some snow from the nor'easter along with some lake effect. And those lake effect snow showers will be uh, mainly to the west of Utica through Friday evening. It gets cold Friday night. But we do clear out, and that means sunshine as we head into the start of the weekend. But it's cold Saturday morning. Check this out. Temperatures in the single digits. 
Sunshine Saturday afternoon, temperatures in the 20s. As far as snowfall accumulation, tonight and tomorrow, most of us pick up just an inch or two of accumulation where lake effect snow develops tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Three to five inches could fall. This is in the Syracuse area as well as Madison County. As we head into tonight, again, some light snow, overnight lows in the upper teens. Tomorrow, light snow showers, temperatures in the mid to upper 20s. Storm Tracker 2 seven day forecast. Dry on Saturday, temperatures in the 20s, a wintry mix Sunday, some slippery spots in the morning, 37. Lake effect snow on Monday, temperatures in the low 20s. We have Tuesday highlighted as a Storm Tracker 2 alert day because of the cold. Temperatures only in the single digits during the day, overnight lows below zero. We start to warm up on Wednesday with temperatures in the low 30s by Thursday. Back over to you. All right, Bill, thank you. On the Live at 5 News Hour, we cleared up some misinformation. Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening, Bill. Good evening, Jason. Tracking some light snow moving into central New York from the south. This is a live look at our York Bill Battery Stern Tracker 2 Doppler radar. We're tracking a nor'easter, which will generally pass south and east of our area. We'll be on the northern fringe of this system. And uh, that will bring us some late snow into tomorrow. Current temperature is 26 degrees, uh, late east southeast breeze. Conditions don't change very much heading into tonight. And again, our eyes are on what's happening to our south. This area of low pressure is going to develop off the Atlantic coast. The track of this storm keeps the heaviest snow from uh, New York City to Boston, basically, coastal New England getting hit with some very heavy snow over the next 24 hours while we, we will be on the outer fringes of this. But again, some light snow around tonight and into early Friday. It's a cold start to the weekend. In the wake of this storm, a, a blast of some of winter's chill for Saturday morning. We do have Tuesday highlighted on the seven day, a storm tracker to alert day, and we'll take a closer look at that coming up. Some light snow tonight, low of 18. Uh, tracking snowfall as we head into tomorrow. Look at that forecast coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. New tonight, Sequoia Valley. All Most dependable weather team. Here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. Welcome back. We're taking a live look outside. This is our Cavi Tower Cam. Some light snow is starting to show up on the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. Not too much is actually making it to the ground at the moment. Uh, we will be keeping an eye on that as we head into tonight. The snow is out of here by the weekend. It should be a nice start, but a cold start. Saturday, we're in, in the single digits in the morning. We'll make it into the mid-20s in the afternoon. A wintry mix in the cards heading into Sunday. Working outdoors tomorrow, some light snow hangs around. We'll be seeing that about half the day. A high temperature of 28 degrees, and it will be blustery. We do have some wind to deal with tomorrow. Windy afternoon. Saturday, the winds become lighter. Sunday, breezy. More wind as we head into Monday. We're tracking low pressure to the south. This is going to bring us some light snow as we head into tonight as well as tomorrow. The center of this will move out to the Atlantic Ocean. This is a nor'easter. The heaviest snow with this will be falling along interior New England and coastal areas. Again, we'll be on the northern fringe of this. Still seeing some light snow from that overnight. Storm Tracker 2 Skycast again, some light snow with this, especially south of the Mohawk Valley. 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, some light snow, some flurries in the air, temperatures in the mid-20s. Snow showers continue as we head into Friday afternoon and Friday evening. This comes from lake effect, which will develop in the wake of the area of low pressure. So we'll see that heading into Friday evening. Most of that falls west of Utica. We'll dry out Friday night, and the stage is set for some colder weather to arrive. As we head into Saturday morning, we're in the single digits at 8 a.m., We'll see some sunshine heading into Saturday afternoon. Pleasant but cold with temperatures in the mid-20s. The snowfall forecast is calling for one to three inches of accumulation across the majority of the area. West of Utica, where there's some lake-enhanced snow expected, could be talking about three to five inches, again, closer to the Syracuse region. Heading into tonight, again, some light snow, a low of 18 degrees. Tomorrow, light snow showers continue. Temperatures will make their way into the upper 20s. Storm Tracker 2 seven day forecast. Again, Saturday is looking dry with some sunshine, 26. Sunday, a wintry mix, especially in the morning. Could be talking about some slippery spots with snow, sleet, freezing rain, and rain. That precipitation looks pretty light. We're watching Monday pretty closely. Lake affects snow, and that could be heavy at times. Temperatures will be in the low 20s. We've highlighted Tuesday. As a Storm Tracker 2 alert day, temperatures Tuesday afternoon 
in the single digits. So we're talking about not only uh, cold weather, but downright frigid weather. We'll be below zero Tuesday morning as well as Tuesday night as well. Temperatures climb back into the upper 20s Wednesday, and we're into the low 30s looking ahead to Thursday with some light snow. We'll be right back. And now for a first look at the forecast, let's get over to Chief Meteorologist Bill Cardis. Good evening, Bill. Good evening, Jason. Good evening, everyone. We're tracking some light snow that continues to fall across parts of our area, mainly north of the Mohawk Valley. What you're seeing on the Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar is not quite making it to the ground across our area, uh, but we will be seeing some of that light snow overnight. Our temperature, 26 degrees, an east-southeast wind at around 3 miles an hour, and Griffiths is reporting a few flurries. Uh, this is coming from low pressure moving in from the south. This is going to turn into a nor'easter, an area of low pressure off the Atlantic coast. The heaviest snow of this is expected to fall to our south and east. New York City, Boston, uh, the Cape, picking up some very heavy snowfall over the next 24 hours. We'll be on the outer fringe of this storm. We do expect to see at least some accumulation. That light snow is around tonight into Friday. We've got a cold start to the weekend and an alert day on the seven day for Tuesday. And we'll explain what that's all about coming up. Tonight, some light snow down to 18 degrees. Again, tracking some snowfall over the next 24 hours. A look at that forecast is coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. New tonight, Sequoia Valley Ellen. Folks, most dependable weather team. Here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. Welcome back. We're taking a live look outside the Sir Cat B Tower Cam. We're overlooking the city of Utica. The lights are not shining quite as strong this evening. We do have some light snow falling in our area, and that's what's uh, limiting visibility here this evening. Live look at the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. You can see the snow falling very lightly, but gradually moving into the area. We're actually looking at two things. This is ongoing lake effect that's up near Watertown and the lighter color, some light snow approaching from the south. We do have some light snow around as we head into tonight as well as tomorrow. Looking ahead to the weekend, Saturday starts out cold, but we'll see sunshine, high of 26. A wintry mix Sunday, could be some slippery spots in the morning. Snow, sleet, freezing rain, and rain all possible here. Temperatures will be in the upper 30s. Working outdoors tomorrow, it's going to be a seasonably cold day, some light snow, Falling for about half the day, a high temperature of 28. Notice the wind, too, from the west at around 15 miles an hour. It will be a windy day tomorrow as that nor'easter moves offshore. The winds die down for Saturday, and then the winds kick back up for Sunday and especially Monday uh, with blustery conditions. So you look at the radar and satellite image. We are keeping our eyes to the south. Again, this area of low pressure developing into a nor'easter tonight, tomorrow. Again, the storm track is to the south. So we end up missing out on the really heavy snow locally. We'd still see snow from this, though, and that falls tonight lightly across the area. Temperatures will drop down into the low 20s. Friday morning, some light snow showers in the air. We'll continue to see some light snow showers throughout the afternoon, especially west of Utica, where there will be some lake effect snow developing, and that will accumulate steadiest west of Utica heading into Friday night. The weather dries out and clears out as we head into Saturday. Looking at cold temperatures Saturday morning, single digits to near zero, especially north. But check it out, lots of sunshine for Saturday afternoon. Looks like a beautiful day. Temperatures in the 20s. Snowfall accumulation tonight and tomorrow. Thinking a general one to three inches for most areas, three to five inches to the west, where some lake effect snow will be falling steadier near the Syracuse region. Tonight, light snow. 18 for the overnight low. More light snow tomorrow. Temperatures in the upper 20s. Storm Tracker 2 seven day forecast. Saturday looks dry. A cold start. Temperatures in the single digits will finish the day in the 20s. That wintry mix for Sunday likely impacting travel, especially in the morning. 37 for the high. Lake effect snow Monday. Uh, that could fall steady to heavy, especially in and north of the Mohawk Valley. We will be keeping an eye on that. An Arctic front arrives Monday night, and it is cold. We have Tuesday highlighted in red on the seven day. Storm Tracker 2 alert day. The reason the temperature, a high of only eight. We start out Tuesday morning below zero. Only in the single digits during the day will fall below zero again Tuesday night. The weather does warm up. Temperatures in the 20s Wednesday with some light snow. Highs in the low 30s on Thursday. We'll be right back.